Oracle Analytics Cloud now support, import, and analytic view from your database directly into OAC. To start this process, we'll launch the latest release of the Oracle BI Admin Tool. So new for this release, what we'll see from the dropdown is a new selection in the connection type called Oracle Analytic Views. By selecting Oracle Analytic Views, we will enter in our data source, uh, ADW instance. We'll enter in the data source name. This data source name can be obtained from the tns.ora uh, file that comes with the wallet of your ADW instance. And click Next. We can see that we've now connected to our ADW instance, and if we expand the data source view and select the user that we logged in as, we can see all of our analytic views available on this database. And if we expand further, we can see some of the measures and, and dimensions that come along with these AVs. You can select as few or as many as you'd like. What we'll do is we'll select all of these and import them into the repository view. So now that everything has copied over successfully, we will click Finish, and this will populate the analytic views into the physical layer. We'll expand one more time and just confirm the only thing that I have to do in order to make these available within OAC is simply select all of the analytic views and drag them over to the presentation layer. By dragging them over into the presentation layer, it automatically populates them into the business model. The analytic views are ready to be shown in OAC. I simply just have to save the RPD. Back at the OAC homepage, we'll click on Create and choose Project. And from here, we'll select Subject Areas. And now we can see all of the analytic views that we brought into our RPD and uploaded directly into OAC. So now that Pete has uploaded this repository pointing to analytical views, let me the analyst, build a few reports and visualization with this. So here I can see measures, I can see dimensions, hierarchies, calculated measures that reside directly on the analytical view, and I can see all that metadata that came as a drag and drop. So let me pick revenue and change percent year ago for the revenue, and then months, and let me build a simple visualization, just as I would with any other data source that come back pretty fast. I can change the representation and make this be a bar chart with a different y-axis, all the Oracle Analytics slicing, dicing, and interaction gesture exists. So here I'm slicing this by customer type and channel name, and all that computation is function shipped directly down to the AV natively. In fact, if I navigate to the console and the log of Oracle Analytics, I should be able to see the physical SQL that was sent to my analytical view. So this is the request, this is the log for the visualization that we just built. And let me zoom to the physical SQL. And here we can see specific constructs of native AV SQL that is being sent by Oracle Analytics directly to the AV. So this enables both high performance and direct leveraging of the advanced metadata that may reside in the AV with all the hierarchies and the calculations. Now, of course, this native function shipping of SQL applies with all the gestures of Oracle Analytics visualizations, like filtering, for instance. I filtered, and this gets passed to the native SQL. Here is an advanced filter where we want the top 10 item on revenue. So it's a pretty, it's a level-based aggregate filter just for top 10 products. Show me how that page with all the breakdown. Let's make the top 25. So all of this natively function shifts to the AV and allows high performance. Thanks for watching the video.